Okay, today we're playing a game on Eichenwald, Eichenwald, what, whatever, something European. Uh, we are playing Zarya the entire way through, and the average SR of this game was 2,313. So, let's look at our team. Um, actually, no, right at the start, um, we've, we've seen, we've seen this gentleman play quite a few games before in the past, and he sent this game to me in an email, and in his email he said to me he had actually reached his goal for the season, which is Platinum, so congratulations on that, my friend. So, now let's look at the team. So, we've got Zarya, Mercy, Widowmaker, Diva, Farah, and Genji. So, you know, um, we've got one healer, uh, we've got Widowmaker. You know, not, not necessarily the map to play Widowmaker on, I can vault, but whatever, you know. And we've got, uh, we've got Diva and Zarya as our two tanks, but, our two, well, our three DPS are not going to be standing behind any shields, so it's not the end of the world that we don't have a Reinhardt. And if your team is going to be kind of all over the place like this team is generally going to be, Zarya is usually better than Reinhardt, because who's going to stand behind your shield, right? Nobody. You know, not even Mercy. Mercy's going to be off with Farah, probably, so whatever. So, you know, it's not really what you want to see, but... um. We're going to work with it, and as you might notice from the title of the video, it all works out in the end. Uh, there's also been some spirited banter, uh, to put it charitably, happening in the game so far, and is currently still happening in the voice chat. Um, so this is the kind of game where you start and you're like, uh, this is going to go well. It actually does go well, though, surprisingly enough. So, let's start. So, Diva's immediately going right now. We bubble her before she disappears around the corner. Um, and now we're gonna stand in the doorway and shoot at this Reinhardt shield for a while. Um, that's about the best you can do, really. Um, when your shield is up, like, we know they've got a Symmetra, so while your shield is up, considering there's not much happening up here right now, actually at the choke point, you gotta just put the bubble on yourself and then walk through the archway, because there's bound to be turrets along the edge of the archway, so you could have probably shaved them all off with the one barrier right there. Um, but, at the same time, it doesn't look like we're going to get through the doorway anytime soon, so it's not going to matter overly so, um, since Diva did in fact just die over there. The thing is, it's going to be hard for us to get through the doorway, unless the rest of their team kind of just disappears, um, to deal with something else, so we're kind of waiting for people to get a pick, basically. And Widowmaker hasn't just picked up, indeed just picked off their Symmetra, we just got all the turrets off the bridge. And some of our team are standing on the bridge behind us. Little scary, Reinhardt's up in our face, Diva's just arrived and she's getting tased. We didn't actually get them all off the bridge. I don't I thought we got them all off the bridge, but I'm crazy. Um So now we're going in. We should like try and get the turrets off of the bridge. Like that should be a slightly higher priority, because we can just walk in with the bubble on us and then like take them all off and then leave again. Um But now uh, Widowmaker has just picked off McCree. Symmetra still isn't back yet, probably. Well, she'll be getting back soon, but she isn't back just yet. Oh, very scary. Got pinned, but we had our bubble on ourself. Now Diva's gonna help us bully this Reinhardt to death. And now we are gonna go in. Um, slight, slight efficiency thing here. We, um, I mean, I don't know if this was intentional, because we kind of just, like, come over the edge and then see Diva's asleeping, but... A s Diva is a-sleeping, that's good English. So, we see Diva sleeping, and we bubble her while she's sleeping. Would be better if we, like, wait for her to take a little bit of damage so we wake up and then we bubble her, because now, like, when she takes damage, she isn't gonna wake up, and seeing as we're going in, we'd rather she actually wakes up as quickly as possible. Um, but we're starting to roll over them at this point. They have just nano-boosted their Diva, but the Diva is almost dead. Very scary, she almost killed our, um... Mercy right there. We just saw on the kill feed someone killed Symmetra's teleporter, which is fantastic news, because boy would that be depressing if they just suddenly all came out of a teleporter. Symmetra is trying to microwave us to death. We could try and fight the Symmetra a little bit more there, because um, we're still reasonably high HP. We just put the bubble on ourselves. We could like try and a little bit more actively to kill this um, Symmetra rather than falling back away from her. Now Symmetra's coming at us again for round two. But now we've got even more energy. Diva's bumped her away. Over here, we can see the picks are happening. Widowmaker is, in fact, making Widowmaker work. She is picking people off. We decide we're going to get some charge off of this Diva ult. If I'm to really nitpick, 
getting the charge off of that diva alt probably isn't going to make a difference in this fight so it could be argued it would be better to save the bubble in case like somebody shows up and starts fighting you instead because it doesn't look like the charge right there is going to make much difference but like that's really nitpicky because we're like winning this fight really handily right now we're we're all here um, also, we just saw it push tab really quickly there, and uh, their Wurima Heart has just changed into an Orisa, which is definitely not the play. So we're starting to really feel it right now. Now we're going to go in really aggressively, just got pulled over really far by Orisa's right click as well. Managed to kill both of their supports, and we decide to keep going in right now. We, like, we should really be standing on the payload, but we have just killed both of their supports, so we can kill both of their tanks as well since we have Graviton and far uses barrage with it as well this is all fairly unnecessary like we should pro we should just be standing over on the payload really because like yeah we're killing them but like the payload is so far away from where we are right now but and there's only been one person on it this entire time by the time it actually catches up to us they're going to be mostly respawned and back anyway but we did get like diva and arissa were pretty staggered compared to the rest of their team as well so you can argue it's still worth it. Um, probably better to just go stand on the payload, though. And then, like, when they're all grouped... Like, you could have just done that... Like, you could have done that exact Graviton play right there when more of them had respawned and regrouped rather than just the two tanks. Because, um, I mean, like, now Diva's back already. Like, But now, all this is happening. Genji's using Dragon Blade right now. Um, we could be going in, like, more aggressively on these two people, like, we kind of duck out of the way, we could go in, we could just, like, keep walking forward, because at this point it's only Arissa and Lucio, so it's not like they're too scary, I mean, Arissa is definitely not scary, Genji's just killed himself, um, somehow, so some very intense dragon blading happened, I guess, and now we're going in, we're gonna bully this Arissa to death, McCree is, like, not gonna do anything right here, basically, um, he tried, bless his little cotton socks, he tried, but he didn't get very far. And now we're just starting to roll over them, enemy team at this point, probably starting to feel a little bit tilted. What I will say about all this aggressive play that we have made, is that um, it's, def it's definitely going to be making the enemy team feel a lot more pressured, though. Um, because now they're like, fuck, they're killing us like 20 miles ahead of the payload right now. That, like, even if that is not necessarily much of a benefit, because it still has to push all the way up to where we fought... It's still, they're gonna be like, fucking hell, gee, oh my god, they're killing us and their payload isn't even fucking here yet, they're like 20 miles ahead killing us. It's definitely gonna be tilting them, if nothing else, so even though, like, you don't necessarily gain much from killing them that far ahead of the payload, they're, de they're definitely gonna be upset about it. And as we all know, in Overwatch, the team that tilts first is the team that loses. So we're going in really aggressively right now, stop them coming out to even contest it. They like never even saw the payload during this entire stretch, so it sucks to be them, basically. Everything's going fantastically. Um, you know, we're rolling over them right now, so there's not um too terribly much to say, except for like the few things we have talked about. There's slightly more to say on defense. Um though as you can see by the timer, this isn't a very long game. So, we're still going in, we're still going in, we're bullying this D.Va to death, which is exactly what you want to do when you're playing uh, Zarya, you want D.Va out of the mech as quickly as possible so that you can use your Graviton without fear, which is exactly what we're doing now, we've broken the mech and we're immediately throwing the Graviton into their team, and also Zarya, you know, counters D.Va. Um, we only catch D.Va, like, this is, you know, <laughs> she ults, uh, Farah ults as well, even though we only caught two people in the Graviton, and one of them was Baby D.Va, so maybe a little bit of an over-expenditure of resources. Um, you could, because we could have probably just killed them anyway, but then McCree came out high nooning, and we killed him as well, and it's like, it's not really gonna matter, like, it's still a pretty nitpicky thing to say, because we're, like, rolling over them right now. Enemy team clearly tilted at this point, very upset about the whole affair. We're again going to build some charge off of this D.Va ultimate. We were very low on charge at that point, and the fight is still happening, so that one I think is more justified than the one before, but even that one was like, whatever, basically, because it wasn't looking, looking like you were going to need to use the... You wasn't looking like you were going to have to keep fighting anyway. Now we are still fighting, and we were low energy. When you're low energy Zarya, you do want to be high energy again as quickly as possible, usually. And now we're going to bully around this D.Va, we're going to bully around the um, Winston... Um, what I will say, like, target prioritization-wise right now, when Baby Diva um, comes out of her mech, 
you want to try and kill her, like, you want to try and find her as quickly as possible so that she doesn't get another mech. Um, people kind of just, like, forget about da Baby Diva a lot when she comes out of the mech. Like, if you don't kill her, she gets another mech back pretty quick. So, like, you know, should be trying to prioritize her a little bit more over the Winston. Um, since we're better at killing Baby Diva as opposed to Winston and Zarya. But, again, we're winning really hard at this point. It's not looking like they're going to recover at that point. They were just trying to stall out the point for as long as possible. Um, more spirited banter is happening right now, we've been trying to mediate it this entire time, but, you know, if your team wants to fight, they want to fight. Not much you can do about it. Um, so, now, we have a Reinhardt, we have a more standard team now. Um, you know, we've got two tanks, two, we haven't got, we've only got one healer still, actually, I think. I think we still only have Mercy. Um, so we're a little bit, standing a little bit far up right now, um, just a wee little bit. Uh, we were communicating with Reinhardt that if he wanted to come up and fire strike, we'd bubble him so that he could do it, but, I mean, I don't think it's, I still don't really like going up and, like, messing with people as they come out of their spawn, because the gain is fairly minimum, but the risk is quite high, so I just don't really like when people do that. Um, but we have got 50% energy right out of the gate. Um, Reinhardt, however... Don't do that. Need a really good reason to charge out of the gate on defense. Um, that was not a really good reason to charge out of the gate on defense. So Reinhardt over here committing suicide. Um, we have um, their Farah and their Diva have lost their mech. We're getting a little bit aggressive right now. Also, um, like this, I'm okay with because like that's happening over there. Two of the like one and a half of them have died right now. So I'm okay with this, but then we start chasing her again. I am not okay with this part. I'm okay with, like, poking out of the corner and trying to kill her, but as soon as she gets around the car, no, at that point you call it off, because now we're in really, really deep. Oh, God, we're in really, really deep, and we end up dying. However, our team is still killing people, but our team now is also without a tank currently, which is pretty scary, because Reinhardt died just before us. Reinhardt's going to get back pretty quickly, though, because he can charge down this path, and he's pretty close. Um... We got pretty over-aggressive right there, though. I'm okay with the first poke around the corner, but then the chasing after that, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 much too aggressive. Um, so, we're back now, though. Enemy team hasn't been making too much progress. Diva's over here right now, but as you can see, we're killing Diva already. Um, we decide our team can probably deal with that by themselves, which is, yeah, they should be able to deal with that by themselves. Um, this wasn't a very good use of our bubble over here, though. Um... Because we bubble this guy over here. Um, he shouldn't need it. Um, it's McCree fighting Baby Diva with a Mercy supporting him. He he shouldn't need that as well. And like you're probably not even going to gain much charge off of it because it is Baby Diva. It's not like he's about to get like take any big damage or anything like that. And I mean, this is kind of hindsight 2020. But then we know that we find out that it would have mattered because we would like to be able to bubble this Reinhardt a lot more. He would still die regardless, but we would prefer to bubble this Reinhardt, and he would at least give us more charge than the McCree over there. The McCree shouldn't need it. Like, he's only fighting Baby Diva. He's got a Mercy with him. He didn't really need that bubble, so that's a bit of a waste of a cooldown right there. Now we can't use it on the Reinhardt. Um, we've lost our Reinhardt, and we've lost Farah at the same time, so this is uh, not, it's not looking good right now. We're falling back in here to try and heal up. McCree has just managed to kill two people, and Reinhardt... Don't alt around anything like that. Do not alt around these sharp corners, because you are just gonna be fucking upset if you play Reinhardt and you do that. And he is indeed very upset right now. He tried to solo alt us, but we're standing in the, like, three corridors down, and he just completely whiffed it, and now our Reinhardt's been rezzed, and we're gonna kill him. So, not great. Um, um, don't do that. If you're playing Reinhardt, try not to ult one person when they're like three corridors in. It's not going to work out. You're going to be real sad if you ult around corners as Reinhardt because line of sight is a fickle thing with Reinhardt's ultimate. Earlier today, I was playing on King's Row as Reinhardt, in fact, and um, there's, like a, there's like a lamp post that's like that thick on King's Row. Um, I ulted, like, right there, like, right next to it, and it completely blocked the Earth Shatter, despite it being, like, a pixel-thick fucking lamppost, and I was really upset about it. Line of Sight is a fickle mistress. <coughs> Line of Sight is a fickle mistress. Excuse me. 
um, don't alter around corners. So, we're all really close to having Graviton. Um, we're getting, like, a little bit overzealous right there, but, like, most of them are dead right now, so it's not like you're gonna get, not too likely to get punished for it. Um, we bubble the McCree there, probably expecting him to get pinned, fair enough, but Reinhardt doesn't pin him. And now we've got our Graviton, and we decide we're just gonna chuck the Graviton in right here. This is perfectly fine. Um, and then Far is gonna barrage in as well, which doesn't get too much done, unfortunately, but, like, this is still... It's still good. Soldier's using TAC Visor. Um, he's wasting it, basically. Um, now, some people would look at this and they would be, and they would be like, damn, that's really overly aggressive. You didn't need to ult there. They were, like, outside the game. That's, like, honestly exactly how you want to ult Azaria. Because you don't want to be the one that ults second, right? You don't want to be the one that ults in response to them ulting. Especially not with Gra Graviton, which is used to initiate fights. So, like, even if you're defending Azaria and you are, like, ult them outside the choke point, you just go out of the choke point and kill them. You want to make the attacking team feel like they're on defense, if that makes any sense. Because you don't want to be the team that ults second. You want to be the team that ults first. So, that probably, like, would seem really overly aggressive to people. That's honestly exactly how you want to ult Azaria. You see an opportunity to ult their whole team, and you ult them. And then you go out there and you kill them. Um... This is it's way too far to go back. Um, this is like a slight efficiency thing, though. If you're in a position where you can just like go up to the graviton and start like right clicking into the graviton, um, punch in between each right click because punching, but there's like a wind up where she pulls it back again. Um, you can't add punching between that doesn't add delay to the next shot. So you right click, punch, right click, punch, and you do slightly more damage in the graviton. Um, this is just like a random thing to tell to this is just like random advice um slight efficiency if you can get right up to your graviton um widowmaker over here reinhardt decides to commit suicide great for us fantastic news widowmaker is shooting people pretty good um we are getting a little bit overzealous again but the reinhardt's dead right now so the chance of them punishing us pretty low we also can see, we've also got widowmaker's infra sights on right now so we can see exactly what's happening over here this again seems really aggressive, and some people would probably be like, this is way too over-aggressive, you shouldn't be doing this. This is honestly fine, because we know you can't really get punished for this right now. Because their Reinhardt's dead, someone else was also dead, and we can see with the Infrasites exactly where they were, so... This is perfectly fine. And look how much ult charge we got off of this, we've almost got another Graviton. We're gonna get another Graviton off bullying this D.Va. Like... That part's probably a little aggressive, because they're gonna be coming back at that point, and we chase her pretty deep into that house. But we break our mech for it, I guess, and we do get Graviton off of it. That part, probably getting a little too aggressive at that point. But we come out, we decide we're going to Graviton again right now. And this is the point where the team, enemy team is going to be like, fucking hell, how does she have Graviton again? Because we charge that one up pretty fucking fast. This is, again, exactly how you want to ult as Zarya. You, wanna be the, you don't want to be the Zarya that ults in response. You want to be like, we're fucking fighting now, and then we fight. And then we kill them all. Um, the chasing the diva into the house is getting a little aggressive at that point, because we do know the enemy team's going to be getting back soon, and we chase her pretty far. But, like, I'm actually, like, okay with pretty much everything else we've done up here, because, like, this is how you want to play, this is how you want to, like, ult a Zarya, and that's, like, basically what all this aggression out here has been based around, has been us ulting. Um, so I'm actually fine with it. Like, people... Like, Zarya is a really aggressive hero, actually. Like, if you've got high energy, no one can fight you. Like, you are the best DPS in the game, and you're also the best tank in the game at that point, because you're a DPS, you suddenly do, like, the most damage in the game, but you've got 400 hit points and a barrier that blocks all damage. You know, well, I mean, you know, it's got HP, it doesn't block, like, infinity damage, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, like, as this, I'm fine with, like, getting aggressive as Zarya, and then you get to build up Graviton more quickly, and then you get to ult more people, and then they're like, fucking hell, how does this Gra Zarya have their Graviton again? Because we've all played against the Zarya that's, that, where you're like, fucking hell, she has it again? Didn't she just use it? This is how you get it. You get it by having high, en being high energy, and then bullying people around. Like, even that, like, we can see what's around us. Like, it's really unlikely you actually get punished for chasing the Lucio that far, because the only people nearby, like, can't kill you that quickly, right? Because it's like a Winston, an Anna, and a soldier. So, 
it's pretty unlikely you even get punished for that. So, like, this is actually how you play Zarya, where you get high energy, and then you bully the other team around, and you make them feel like they are your bitch. Because they are. Look at that, like, look, just go up and fucking fight the Junkrat. What's he gonna do about it? Got fucking high energy Zarya. Can't, can't do nothing about it. So, that is, like, this defense around here, that's actually, like, how you play Zarya, basically. You get out there, and you fucking fight them. We fight on my terms. That's what we tell, we, we fight now. And then we fight them. And then we kill them. And then we get a lot of energy off killing them. And then we build another Graviton, and then we kill them again. So the moral of the story is be, be, be aggressive, be manly, be manly, Azaria. Uh, like, goddamn, does that feel bad? Like, that's a, like, it's an overcommittal of resources. Like, the Earth Shatter is pretty unnecessary right there, but boy, would it have felt bad. That was also stolen as hell. Um, out of all of the th people involved in that right there, he had the least right to that one, honestly. Um, so, you know, um, not nothing really huge stands out on this um game to talk about as being like a glaring issue. There's like it's like small efficiency things, honestly, um at this point. But um I mean, like I said earlier, we've seen you play a lot of times, so we've like talked about a lot of bigger stuff before and like uh you know, I can see the climb that you've gone through. Um and at this point it is just like more smaller efficiency things, really. Like this is a really good Zarya game, honestly. And at the start of the game, you wouldn't be like, this is going to be a good game, because we got, like, this janky-ass team, and we got people engaging in spirited banter. But this is honestly, like, a pretty, like, textbook how-you-play-Zarya game, barring, like, a couple of inefficiencies here or there. This is, like, how-you-play-Zarya. Like, the defense round is actually really, really good. Like, that's how-you-play-Zarya on defense, honestly. Barring, like, the... One early, like, too aggressive. We chase the, Z Zar the um, Anna, and we get killed. And Z Reinhardt also charges out the gate. That's the kind of thing that can lose you the game. But, like, Reinhardt charging out of the gate by himself can lose you the game. So, you know. But then we get too over-aggressive with him. That's, like, the only thing. We get a cut... Like, we get too over-aggressive in a couple of parts in this game. But other than that, this is, like, a really, really good Zarya game. We, uh, we got high... En like, look at that. Like, 30... High energy eliminations out of 40 high elim uh, 40 eliminations. That's a lot. That's, we've we've been bullying a lot of people in this game. That's how you play Zarya. You get out there, you bully them. This is like how you play Zarya right here. Um, so anyway, I mean, thank you very much for watching. If you did, um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer, and I hope you found the video helpful. But honestly, this is not, you know, not much happened in this game. We, like, stomped them pretty thoroughly, but, you know, hopefully you found it helpful.